Hey y'all, this is Cindy, I'm the Tireless Tangler, and you've arrived at another design in our zine project based on the amazing book, Zentangled Dingbats, Patterns and Projects for Dynamic Tangled Ornaments and Decorations. That is by Brian Crimmins, CZT. It is awesome. I highly recommend it, and let's get into it. In Brian's book, one of the forms that he uses for dingbats uh, is an open-sided sort of uh, setup. And uh, what I thought I would do today is use my white jelly roll. It's a 08. This is by Sakura of Japan. And uh, it's great for drawing on this tan paper. So uh, let's see what we can come up with. So what I'm going to do is basically draw um, a baseline in the corner and then I'm going to put something in the middle of this that's sort of organic that moves out. I'm not going to have a normal frame here on this design. And if you can see over here yesterday after I finished, I did a little experiment with Jelly Roll. Uh, I was thinking about adding that to the tendrils on this and decided that that was uh, too distracting for the rest of the design. So, but today we're going to do it all in Jelly Roll and see what happens. Okay, so I thought for this I would start with a little spiral. Now, if you're going to use a Jelly Roll, make sure that you've got a scratch piece of paper that you can use to clean your tip on. Uh, these tend to get gummy. Uh, in the tips once you use them for a while and so so it's good to have something you can clean that off with so I think I'm just gonna do a spiral simple spiral and uh, make the one in the corner a little bit heftier than the one on the outside and then I'm going to turn my my page 90 degrees and I'm going to attempt <laughs> to do something similar here. Remember, if you're uh, trying to put your lines together, when you lift your pen, just lighten your stroke until you know you're on the right track, and then you'll be good to go. Okay, so I think for interest on this, I'm going to add a couple of more, a couple more auras, and I think I'm going to make them simple. And again, if you have trouble keeping your jelly roll going, it's great to have scratch page right there. I think I'm just gonna do something like that, put a little break in there for something interesting and I'm going to repeat that over here and I'm just going to put that wherever it happens to land I am not trying to put it in the same place or anything like that so I like this. I'm trying to decide if I want to put an inner aura here, but I think I'm going to let that stand since my point today was working a little bit more simply. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put an organic tangle of some kind in here. I was sort of leaning towards poke leaf um, or poke root, but I'm trying to think, 
oh, I know what I want to do. I'm going to use Catkin here. It's going to be have a very minimalist look, and I think it's going to work well. So to start with, I think I'm going to put a middle strand here. Well, if I can get my pen working again. And then I'm going to start one fairly close down and send it out to the side. And then this one over here is going to be a little shorter. So I think I'm going to start that up here a bit. And just curve that down right there. Um, I think that's going to be good for Catkin. Uh, so let's put in the next step, which is going to be these shallow little zigzag lines. And I'm just going to black those in, or in this case, white them in. <laughs> And that gives it a rather um, sort of a knobby, thorny look. And then I'm going to do that on each of these other branches. Trying to keep these from getting too, um, too big. one does get too big you could always uh, make that a spot where you're going to branch another um, branch out and let's see if you um, need a video that explains this in depth there is um, well, I'll have to put a link in the description. I've got to start naming those better. I don't know if Catkin is in the name or not. Maybe it is. Okay, so this is where I'm at. Let's add our little Catkin um, bulbs, if you will. I don't know what else to call those. So I'm going to do this fat at one side and a little teardrop type of a shape and I'm going to add my other side in put a little dot now I love the way this looks on tan paper make your little teardrop shape put your other side in add your dot I am telling you, this is going to be an awesome one for the holidays. Can't wait to see what you guys do with it. Remember, they do not have to be um, any particular thing. Just make them the way you want to. If one uh, gets out of hand and doesn't look right, I suggest um, try to finish it. And you'll be surprised at how well this pattern um, forgives little errors, if you will, although I like to think of them not so much as errors, but opportunities. Opportunities for something new. That one got a little large, that's okay. Now remember the jelly roll is going to take a little bit of time to dry. So make sure that you are, if you're doing what I'm doing and rubbing the heel of your hand across this, make sure that you have given it enough time to set so that you don't have unsightly smears, which could also be opportunities. I'm just not sure I'm patient enough for those. Isn't that pretty? I really like this. 
Okay, so I'm going to finish up over here. And you just want to make a little cup shape. How nice is this? There. I like it. Now, what could we do to zenbellish this? Let's think about that. Um, we could come in here on the frame, add a little bit of weight in these corners and round them. You guys um, surely will have better luck than me. Or than I. <laughs> Sorry about that, you grammar police. That's usually me. So shame on me. All right. Um, not sure how effective that was. The other thing that we could do is take our inking pen and go in here and uh, embellish here and there. And I was even thinking, let's see. You also can take your charcoal pencil and maybe add a little, just a little bit of texture down at the base. Now another thing that would work cool if you were working on paper like this is if you have some uh, soft pastels, chalk pastels, um, or even chalk in colors. You can um, smooth that in down here in the base and uh, give this a little pop of color. You can also use um, a water base, a water base mark, or any kind of marker really. The water base would allow you to smooth that out, but again, that's going to depend on the paper that you're using. See, just a tiny bit of the white charcoal there makes a difference. Whoops, I've got to sharpen this. It's the tip is all all off, and so when I put it down, I think I'm I'm smoothing it on in a different place when, than I'm actually using. All right. If you'll notice, because of the tip problems, you you will see me rotate this in my hand constantly, trying to get a better um, a better angle on the tip to get a smooth to get a smooth lay down it's really difficult with this brand of pencil and I don't know where my general pencils are but I'm on a mission to find them this is really pretty and something like catkin would go great on uh, brown gift tags or something like that so um, that is what I'm gonna put on the other side of this now, I'm trying to decide, although I really like, I think I'm going to leave it. Now, my other option would be to do something here in the center. I really like the way this is. Okay, so I think to finish this off, I'm going to put a word here in the middle, and I think I'm going to put the word joy, uh, because it's short, and I can't get into too much trouble with it. Again, like fun. I think my midpoint is going to be here. So I'm going to put my Y here, my O here, and my J over here. Okay. I don't know if you can, yeah. All right, I left a little extra room for the J since I'm going to do some, hopefully, going to do some flourishy, kicky kind of thing down here. So I'm going to start with my, with my O. 
and I'm going to put that in let me zoom I'm going to put that in right where this middle dot is I don't know if this is sepia or black but we're going to use it and then I'm going to put my little faux calligraphy thing here and I'm going to black it like that okay I'm going to put my Y in here which <laughs> okay no commentary on that and I'm gonna black this all right and then for the J I will put that just like that and and on this one I think I'm going to have to thicken this right here Not sure how well that sparkle turned out. <laughs> and uh, the light is really casting. This paper and, and my lights really do not work well together. So it's much nicer on the Zentangle tiles. We're going to make it work. Just know that this isn't as grayed out as it seems with this light. Okay. All right. Um, well, I don't hate this. I think I think the word itself may need some embellishing so I may put a little foofy thing here <laughs> that's my technical term um, just a little flourish and then I think I'm going to leave this now uh, this is um, maybe not I'm just going to put in some lines going through here. If I can get this pen to work. Well, trying to do it sort of on the side so it's not so strong. But just that little bit, I think, helps set this off. And really, honestly, you could do whatever. And this is probably not the best choice. But just to give you an idea. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention on using the white jelly roll is that you can, many of you may be aware of this, but you can shade over it with your pencil. If you want to put a little graphite on here, I don't even know if you can see what I put down. There you can. Um, and then just, well, you really can't see that, can you? 
Well, this is not good because it, you cannot see what I see with my eyes, which is a little subtle darkened spot down here. And, um, but my point is here that you can use graphite over, over jelly roll to shade if that's what you wish to do. <clears throat> I really um, have thought about putting a bit of graphite here in the middle of these, sort of give it a more dynamic look. Um, I have not tried that yet until this moment, so not sure how effective that would be, but it would uh, bring in a little bit of interest. And again, the light on this paper is really making it hard for me to, to show you the examples, but it's just a thought for you, something you can try out on your own and see what you come up with. All right, this is another panel in our zine. And uh, we are going to be back next week for the new one. We are running out of pages here. It looks to me like we have three more pages left until this project is done. I have had an amazing suggestion from uh, Lawanya Dorman about something that we can do after this that sort of dovetailed really nicely with um with something that i was planning anyway so um i really want to hear your suggestions about where we're going to go what projects we're going to be working on after this after this dingbats series is over so be sure and drop me a comment or send me a message or whatever you want to do thank you guys so much for being with me today and i am going to see you next week on monday for meditation monday Tuesday for Tangle Tuesday, and Wednesday, another page in our zine project. Thank you, guys.